What's up guys, Anton here. And in this video, you're gonna be seeing exactly how to manage inventory on your Shopify store. I'm gonna take you into the back end of one of my stores and show you step-by-step -step how it's done so you can replicate exactly what we do on your Shopify store as well. And if you hang out, you end up sticking to the end, you're gonna learn everything that I have learned about managing inventory, starting at little baby beginner Shopify stores all the way up to eight-figure stores. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm gonna share two different ways to manage inventory on Shopify. Now, one of these is free and it's already built in to the product page settings within the admin panel of Shopify. The other option is paid. This is using a Shopify app to manage inventory for you. But regardless of which of these options you choose, it's gonna make you and your customers much happier because you're not gonna to have to worry about what products are in stock and which are sold out. And when you track inventory properly, it's going to lead to a better business for you. People are not gonna buy things they can't get. You're gonna have less customer service to deal with, and you're gonna be able to save your money by only advertising products that can actually ship fast. So let's jump into Shopify, and I'll show you how it's done. So you'll see here, I'm logged in to the Dropship Lifestyle Merch Store's Shopify account. Now, this store specifically drop ships via a service called Printful, and what they do is custom make the products when they're ordered. It's print-on-demand drop shipping. So here, under inventory, you'll notice it says inventory not tracked, and if you're watching this, most likely that's what your store is showing as well. Now, the reason we don't change that for this store is because if somebody orders something that's currently not available, they can make the product, and if, let's say, a specific shirt's not available, they'll choose one that's extremely similar, they can still make the product, we can still fulfill the orders. But let's say you're doing traditional drop shipping the way that we do it on dropshiplifestyle.com and you're working with a supplier that sends you a spreadsheet every week showing you how many units are left in stock of specific products. Now the times I think this is most important is when your best selling products start running low on inventory. That's when you'll wanna actually change the settings. If there's consistently plenty of stock for a ton of items, this doesn't need to be meticulously updated. It would simply be a waste of time and most likely cause more problems than it's worth. If there's always plenty in stock, you can just leave it inventory not tracked, you'll do just fine. But let's say, for example here, this shirt, Dream Big Hustle Hard, came from a supplier that sent me an inventory sheet where there were only two units left in stock and it wasn't going to be back in stock for the next eight weeks. Then I would wanna update the inventory on my store. So what I could do is just click edit, go into the product page, and then what I'll do is scroll down. And you'll notice since this is a shirt, there's many variations. If there was only one variant of a product on your store, you'll simply see the one variant with the price and the SKU number. Let's say the one that was running low on inventory was black size large. I'm simply going to click edit next to that variant, and then it's gonna open that specific product page where I can start making edits. So if I scroll down a little bit on this variants page, you'll see it says inventory. And under inventory, there's a little box that says track quantity. Now for me, that is not checked, but what I wanna do in this scenario is go ahead and click that, and then you'll see the little quantity counter appears. Now right now, mine is showing at negative 35, and that simply means that we've sold 35 of these since we started selling them of this variant, so it's showing negative 35. But if there were two left, I could simply go ahead and I could change available to two. So now there'll be two left, and once those two sell, you can choose what you want to happen. Do you want to continue selling them? If you do, click that box. If you don't, leave it unchecked, and then the product will no longer be available for purchase. Now again, we don't track inventory for these print-on-demand products, so I'm going to uncheck it, but if I wanted to keep the changes that I just made, I would simply click save. You can do the same, and now that inventory will be updated. Here's the important thing with this free method. If you're going to do this, it's all manual. So in this hypothetical example, again, once this product is coming back in stock, I or somebody on my team, or you if this was your store, would need to go back in, go to the quantity counter, and update it again to reflect accurate stock. It's time consuming, which is why I don't recommend doing this for every product in your catalog, only your best sellers that you see running low on inventory. Now what I just shared with the free method will be good enough for most drop shippers out there, but let's say time goes by, your store gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and maybe one day in the future, you work with 300 different brands in your niche, and you sell 20,000 different SKUs on your store, and you and your team find this is taking way too much time to update manually, we need a better solution. That's when it's time to consider the paid option, and the paid option that I recommend is called Stock Sync. This is in the Shopify App Store, 
store, you just simply go through your dashboard, click add app, and you'll get a free trial. Now their pricing is extremely affordable. It's free if you barely use it. But if you're the type of person that needs this, most likely you'll be on at least the $5 a month plan, possibly 10 or maybe 49. And if you're on the 49, it'll be well worth your money for what it does. But the gist of this app is that it connects to your Shopify store and then you connect your supplier's inventory to it. Now, I like this app over others because there's so many different ways to connect and the ways that you choose are really gonna be dependent on your relationship with each supplier and how they traditionally send you inventory reports. Now, if they're still sending you the Excel sheets or CSVs that have availability, then what you can do is simply get the template from StockSync and go ahead and modify the supplier's version to match this format. So if you have the SKU number, you could simply enter the quantity remaining, upload this via StockSync to the back end of your Shopify store, and all of the inventory for every SKU number listed in this CSV will update on your store. And again, if you get to the point where you're working with tens of thousands of products and you notice inventory is consistently an issue, this could be the solution to your problem because you can actually have it scheduled to automatically pull and update inventory as much as multiple times a day. So you will not have issues with customers purchasing products that are not available and you won't be sitting there dealing with customer service when you could be dealing with marketing, getting more sales coming in and having those sales go to happy customers. So those are the two options, guys, that I recommend, both the free and the paid. If you got value from this video, you know what to do. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. We have two new videos a week, just like this one, every single Monday and Thursday. And for everybody out there that is new to drop shipping and wants to know how to build highly profitable semi-automated stores from anywhere in the world, be sure to go to dropshipwebinar.com where you'll find a free training webinar that I have waiting for you. See you next time.